Good morning. Um, I have decided, well, I'm actually in a bit of the mood. I'm in the mood to do some cooking today. Kids are home, hence the TV in the background. I've just come back from a swimming lesson. It's freezing cold outside, so any sort of outdoor play or park thing is kind of off the cards. Um, just because little miss has recovered from that ear in double ear infection. Um, I'm just doing my sourdough starter. I'm just feeding it. Where's my lid? I haven't actually made sourdoughs uh, in a while. And I woke up this morning and I'm like, I'm actually kind of in the mood to cook and bake. Not cook like dinner prep, but snacks. So I thought, let's share it with you. So today, on today's menu, I'm planning to do my wheat big slice, but I do them as bites. I'm going to make muesli bar, but with a twist. I'm going to make muesli bar cups. I might make some unicorn pancakes. I made Holt ones the other week. I might make some unicorn ones today. I wanna to make some pizza scrolls, which I think would be great in lunch boxes. My kids will have them as snacks, or if we go out on the weekend, they can have them. I might even do like some Nutella scrolls. I do have Nutella. And probably some cookies, because I've got so many chocolate chips I bought the other week that were on sale, um, and I've got them there. So I thought, why not do a little bit of baking? Everything I'm cooking can be frozen, although I've never tried freezing the muesli bars before. Um, so if I make too many and we don't get through them, I will try freezing them. Or if you have made them before and you've frozen them and defrosted them, let me know if they work out good or bad. But let me get all my ingredients out. I'm gonna get my sourdough starter into the sun, because I'm might make some bread this afternoon. Um, just thought I'd share that with you. All right, now I have got the kids home, so it is noisy. Doesn't bother me, and it's kind of just reality, but I know it can be noisy for you guys watching or listening. Uh, so if it gets too noisy, I'll just do a bit of a voiceover, but I'm going to do my muesli bar recipe. But let me show you. I've got my muffin tray. So instead of pressing it into a dish, letting it set and cutting it, I'm gonna press it into these muffin trays that are silicone, so easy to pop out. Uh, let them set in the fridge, and then I'm gonna fill it with like yogurt and berries on top. I think that'd be like a really yum, uh, like breakfast or snack option. So I'm gonna attempt that. Never done it before, it could totally fail. So in my pan, I have a, an actual vlog on this recipe here, but let's just run through it. So it's a cup of oats, quick oats, because they do absorb and cook down better. It is a cup of coconut. I've got like desiccated coconut, so it's nice and fine. I'm not really gonna measure this. I'm just pouring it in, hoping for the best. If you don't love the taste of coconut, you can do like a bit less if you wanted to. And I'm putting this into a pan because we are going to toast it. I've got some peanuts here crushed. You do not need to put peanuts in. Um, I've got sesame seeds. You do not need to add sesame seeds. I love the flavor of toasted sesame seeds. Um, so I've got a cup of quick oats, a cup of coconut. I should be putting in about half a cup of sesame seeds. I should be putting in about a quarter cup of chia seeds. But as you can see, I'm like really roughly doing this. Um, I've got pumpkin seeds. I'm doing about a third a cup. Again, I will list the actual recipe in the description part of the video. I'm, I'm pretty loose on the actual recipe component of it. So I'm gonna get these onto toast. If you wanted to add dried fruit, chocolate chips, do it after you have toasted it, toasted it. Um, so I'm just gonna get this on now to toast and I'll come back and show you the wet ingredients that we need to build. So that'll go on now. Okay, so into another pot, I'm gonna put 125 grams of butter. I need half a cup of honey. Let's just see if I can be a bit, you know, try and measure something out with a spoon. I guess this recipe is good because you don't have to be precise with the measurement. If you want a substitute for something else, I'm sure you can. I did say in my other video, I have not tried it without honey and without butter. 
I don't know if coconut oil would work. I don't know if agave syrup, which is vegan friendly, would work. I don't know. I don't have those to try and cook with. So if you have, let me know. Let's just assume that's half a cup of honey. And then I need to put in a third of brown sugar. Again, I'm just gonna like randomly measure it out. Put it all in at once. You don't have to dissolve the butter first or anything. Just chuck it all in like so. And let's get that on to the element to cook. Okay, all melted, bubbling away. Let it bubble for a minute or two. The longer you cook the wet ingredients and let it bubble, the more caramelized the sugar and the honey come become, which means the crunchier your muesli bars will be. My dry ingredients have toasted. I don't know if you can see. There is a bit of brown through there. Don't over toast this because you'll get like a burnt taste coming through. You'll know if you have a burnt taste on it. Those little pops that you can hear are actually the chia seeds. Too much heat and they'll just sort of get like a snack crackle pop to them. You, I haven't tried this. I should have done it today, but I didn't. Um, you could add like rice bubbles to this. I think would be really yum. So now this and this are gonna go into a bowl. I'm gonna mix it all together. Okay, I've got my dry ingredients in the bowl. I try and let this cool down a little bit. It can be very, very hot. Not something I would recommend little ones to probably help make. I'm just gonna stir this around to all the wet touches all of the dry. Okay, and that's what I've got here. Nice, wet, sort of a mixture. It's really warm, so I'm gonna let that cool down just for a minute, and then we're gonna start pressing it into these molds. I don't know if this is gonna work. This is my first time doing it, and things do fail, and that's fine. I know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you Okay, the cups are done. I ended up getting a bowl of water and dipping my fingers into it. It's cold and it made it easier to like form the actual cake molding. Um, because it just kept sticking to my fingers. So a little bit of water seems to have done the trick. I've got 12 with some left over, which is fine. I'm gonna put these into the fridge, let them set. I can see what they're like when they're ready to take out. Okay, next I'm gonna make my pizza scrolls. So I've got two sheets of puff pastry that has thawed out, so it's nice and soft. I've just got some pizza sauce. Grated cheese, which I always grate at the beginning of my grocery week. And I've got some salami. I've taken out the freezer. It's defrosted. Uh, my kids love cheese pizzas and my husband loves the salami. So I thought I might do like some salami pizzas up as a bit of a snack. And I love it too. I eat anything, but um, I didn't want to put too many ingredients on here. I want to keep it pretty simple, but you could do ham, ham and pineapple. You could just do a vegetarian one. You could do like real thin slices of like chicken or shredded chicken and barbecue sauce, whatever you like. I've literally just raided my fridge, pantry and freezer and I'm working with what I've got. I love these. These actually work out really cost effective when they go on sale. I love that it's just got the squeezy thing at the bottom. You can squeeze it out and spread it around. I get them from, from Coles. I'm sure Woolies and Eldies and the others sell them or something very similar. But I just love that it's in a squeezy bottle and that it just stays in the fridge and it's got onions and herbs all through it. It's actually quite tasty. So I'm gonna put a layer on of the sauce, a layer of on the cheese. And then with the second one, I'm gonna do a layer of sauce, a layer of salami, and then a layer of cheese. If you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Now it's two options. You could just put that whole thing on the baking tray and cook it and then cut it once it's done. I'm going to slice mine and then lay it out. So I want both ends to be crispy. Hold up, baby, I can sit beside you While you're going on about your simple life Nothing left 
15. Okay, I'm doing biscuits and I'm kind of feeling like some jam drop biscuits. Um, so I'm going to do a pretty simple recipe. I need about mm, 125 grams of butter. Maybe a bit more, not too sure. We'll see how we go. Half a cup of white sugar. I don't know why I'm measuring this. I don't really measure anything I cook. Uh, and then I'll put this on to my a mixer and get them to sort of whip together, cream together, however you like. For so long, I've been trying to get you out of my head. Oh yeah, but somehow. Come together I'm going to add in some vanilla vanilla bean vanilla extract vanilla essence I don't know, half a teaspoon half a little glug and one egg and beat that all together Wake up in your bed. okay so see how that's like really nice pale yellow and fluffy that's what you want. I'm gonna add one and a half ish, probably a bit over, of flour and a pinch of salt. So, a pinch of salt. Adding in my flour. So, that's one cup. It's one and one third. Yeah, let's do that. I've actually got a dough hook and a, I think they call it a paddle. I'm gonna put this on because I don't wanna over knead the flour because that's what makes your biscuits hard and I don't want that. Okay, that's all come together. And if I squeeze a bit, I can make a ball and some crumble. So, perfect. Now I'm going to roll it into some balls, push my spoon into the middle and make some jam drops. Pretty simple recipe and a great little snack. Okay, so I'm just going to put them onto my silicone mat and make some balls. Push my finger down, I think, so I can put the jam into them. bit more butter. I don't think I had exactly 125 grams. They might be a bit dry. Making some biscuits and might crumble. I'm just going to be using this jam here. It's a raspberry jam. Really tasty. And put a little dollop inside each one. I've just taken the little mini pizzas out of the oven. I like to lay mine flat. If I don't, let's see if I can just pick one up. They're still a bit warm. That little section there that holds it all together sort of just opens up, but you could definitely cook them sitting up like that, which I have done in the past. This is just a nice little way to fit into lunch boxes because they're quite thin, um, but that's done. They will cool down and go into a container. I think we might actually even have some of them for lunch today with like some carrot sticks or something on the side. That's just the, cheese one there smell really good I've just taken these out of the fridge they're set they've turned out really well so you can see how they're like a little cup so inside that you could put like a dollop of yogurt with some berries on top just some fruit you put custard in it or even if you just melted some chocolate and like drizzled chocolate across it I'm just going to keep them plain and put them into a container into the fridge and either that morning for breakfast we can do the yogurt and the fruit or whatever it might be but they have turned out really really well all the kids could just eat them like that there so I ended up 
making 12. Definitely could have made more if I had taken my time and patted these out because some of them are a little bit thicker. But I think they could be a perfect snack or even for breakfast with the yogurt and berries. Really happy with that. I'm gonna keep on the biscuit theme. I'm gonna make some chewy biscuits. To get chewy biscuits, brown sugar. Brown sugar is basically just white sugar with molasses in it, and it gives that really toffee, chewy kind of a biscuit. So we're gonna make some chocolate chips. I've got white chocolate chips and milk chocolate chips. Okay, so into the bowl, I'm gonna put some butter. One. 25 grams and then with the and then with this recipe you're going to add half a cup of white sugar and three quarter three quarter cups of brown sugar. No, I've been trying to get you out of my head. Oh yeah. Okay, let's get that onto me. I always seem to wake up in your bed. Okay, so a nice light brown consistency. Remember, just remember that you can beat the egg, sugar, and butter mixture, but when it comes to the flour, you need to be very gentle with it. So into here, I'm going to add one and a quarter cups of flour and a little bit of baking soda just to help with the rise because you do have such dense uh, sugar. The baking soda will just help give that a little bit of extra rise. For so long. I've been trying to get you out of my head Oh yeah But somehow I always seem to wake up in your bed mm -mm. Baby, if we talk for a minute Then maybe we'll Alright, now I'm just going to roll these into balls to make biscuits <laughs> So long I've been trying to get you out of my head Oh yeah but Just took these ones out of the oven Turned out really nice Just be careful with jam drops Because the jam can actually be super hot Until the biscuit completely cools down So once they're cooled down They'll go into a container These are the little pizza scrolls My kids are having some for lunch right now um, They have oozed out a little bit Which is... Um, a little bit annoying what I would used to do with the cheese with the scrolls I would make I would stand them up and then all the edges so all of the where's a piece like all of those joining bits there I'd actually face in and make it into like a round kind of a like a pull apart kind of pizza it would become I might do that next time because it has oozed out a lot although my kids like playing with the cheese uh, but they're done they're done and then the next lot of biscuits are in the oven cooking and I'll probably get quite a bit out of that because this actually makes quite a big batch there all right so these are the granola cups these are the jam drops the chocolate chip cookies I'm gonna bag probably more than half of these up and actually freeze them and the pizza bites. I'm actually gonna leave it there because I'm actually running one out of ingredients and two, room in my freezer to store some of these things. I am gonna do another video with more snacks and I'm thinking of doing like some homemade dips, some homemade pickles, uh, more condiments. So if you are, if you're someone who likes to make your own lunches, this might give you some ideas or for you, even your little ones at school to have like some homemade hummus dip and that sort of thing. I kind of just went through my fridge, freezer and pantry today and found ingredients that I thought I could cook up that I can freeze. That'd be nice to have for like breakfast and those sort of things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, my kids are just laying on the couch getting ready for nap time. I need to clean my kitchen, properly package these up and put them away. I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll talk soon.